controversial Hope Point Tower proposal on its way to Mayor Jorge Alores's desk after a key vote by the City Council. The enormous skyscraper project has garnered sharp criticism from neighborhood associations and has been celebrated by the building trades and labor unions. I would assume supporter Steph Machado is live in our studio tonight with what the mayor wants in exchange for his approval. Steph? Well, the City Council has given its stamp of approval to a zoning change that would allow this skyscraper to be built. It would be the tallest in the state, but Mayor Jorge Alorza has not yet committed to sign on. Motion carries. The matter passes for the second time. The Providence City Council gives final approval to the Hope Point Tower, passing a zoning change to raise the maximum height of parcel 42 on the old 195 land where New York developer Jason Fain wants to build it. We should not be making any special exception for any of our developers. This is a 300 plus million dollar project that will inject new life and vitality into this community. Dante Bellini is a spokesperson for the Fane organization, which plans to purchase the land and asked for the zoning change to build the 600 foot residential tower. Council President David Salvatore abstained from the vote, saying Fane's proposal wasn't vetted enough. And I'm not convinced that he is going to move forward with this project. Uh, there's clearly not a market for uh, luxury housing rents in the capital city. The council passed the ordinance nine to five, sending it to Mayor Alorza's desk. The design is really important important to me. It has to work for the city of Providence. Alorza has put out a list of conditions for his support, asking the developer to expedite construction, make a public contribution to the city, and give the city final approval on the design. If I get the assurances, I'm fine with this going forward. If I don't get these assurances, then sure, I'll veto it. We are open to discussing with the mayor any and all issues, but we will not do it uh, as an ultimatum. And if the mayor vetoes the ordinance, the council would need 10 votes to override the veto. Right now, they have nine. I asked Council President Salvatore, who currently opposes the project, if there's any chance he would change his abstention to a yes vote. He said it is possible, and he'll weigh all options. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.